we should not allow our women, yeah. our uh, daughter, our family members mm -hmm. to go alone in midnight with other people. ये जरूरी है कि उन अवेलेबिलिटी ना हो लेकिन लड़कियों को भी प्रिकॉशन लेना चाहिए कि लड़कों को चांस ही ना मिले लड़की कहाँ जाती है कहाँ आती है उस पर नजर रखिए लड़कियाँ जो हैं सले के कपड़े पहने जो आपका बदन खुली दिखती है नजर आती है उस पर लोग कमेंट करते हैं एक लड़की जा रही है साड़ी पहने हुए पूरा वो वो हम उठा के वो उस पर कमेंट कम होता है लड़कियाँ रात को घूमेंगी अकेले और उनको अवेलेबल हो जाएंगी ईजी और जिनका इनका माइंड खराब है माइंड खराब है विमेन Harassed or treated badly, these kind of things do happen. And youngsters were almost like Westerners. They try to uh, copy the Western, uh, uh, not only uh, in their mindset but even the dressing. Going home from work and suddenly, like two attackers came from like uh, front and they suddenly, in in a moment, they broke me. If this is the safety, then we are always worried because our parents will be worried because we stay alone. In the name of Indian culture, where is it said that women should be attacked by these uh, hooligans and uh, these criminals? एक तरफ जहां हम बड़े-बड़े दावे कर रहे हैं कि हमारी महिलाएं सुरक्षित हैं, बहुत पढ़ गई हैं, बहुत आगे निकल रही हैं, लड़कियां बहुत आगे हैं, उन उसी जगह नए साल के दिन और एक पब्लिक प्लेस पे जिस तरह से लड़की को हैरेस किया जा रहा है। वो दे वे फोटोग्राफ, दे वे पिंच, दे वे हैरेस, दे वे पुलिसटेड एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट नथिंग हैपेंड। वेयर वाज़ द पुलिस, वेयर वाज़ द प्रोटेक्शन, वेयर वाज़ द सीसीटीवी कैमरास well, viewers, after that terrible incident in Bangalore, it's caused more despicable opinions to crawl out of the woodwork. National politicians who use analogies for women like sugar. Women are sugar and men are ants. Western clothes and Western influences and alcohol. Let's be honest, alcohol has always been used as an excuse to forgive a man for everything he does and blame a woman for everything that happens to her. It's this sort of double standard that has to stop. And it has to stop because it's making the problem worse. When leaders of our country, I'm sorry to say, make excuses like this, it's providing gropers and molesters and rapists with impunity and excuses to go out and to do as they please. This is the fundamental problem that we're having with our country. This is why on such a regular basis on this show, we have to come back again and talk about the lack of safety for women in India in every walk of life. Do an informal poll around you gentlemen, ask the women you know, you will realize that every Indian woman, every single one of them, irrespective of their age, whether they're 16 or 60 years old, will tell you that they have been groped and pinched at some point or the other. That's the country you live in. Every single woman. Get in touch with me on Twitter if you find a single woman who will tell you that this has never happened to her. And that's the problem we are facing because statements like this are being made. These sort of politicians have to be brought to the book. They have to be taught that it's not about what we're wearing. It's not about where we go. It's about the men who get off scot-free. And even in Bangalore, even in Bangalore, no one was arrested. Not a single report was written up. Nobody was rounded up, put into a police van and taken away. None of that was done. People got away scot-free. We now have a government that's turning around and telling us, send us any evidence you have and we'll make sure that action is taken. What were you doing on the night of the 31st? Why are we giving people a free hand? That's the question we're asking tonight and my phone lines are open for you. But on the show right now, Aishwarya Bhatti is an advocate at the Supreme Court. Sandeep Singh is an author and a consultant. Trisha Shetty, a lawyer who has been fighting with us and alongside us for the rights of women. Varun Agarwal, an entrepreneur and an author from Bangalore. Sarah Shah Halim is a writer and activist, joins us from Kolkata. Anita Gautam is a religious activist, joining us from Noida. I want to welcome all of you to the studio right now. Anita Gautam, I'm going to start with you. I can't even repeat the things one more time that are being said across the country about why what happened in Bangalore happened. These sort of excuses are completely unforgivable. मैम ये कहाँ लिखा कहाँ कहाँ कहा जाता है कि सेलिब्रेशन जो है वो सिर्फ सड़कों पर आकर के ही किया जाता है आप शराब पी करके दंगा मचाएंगे सिटी की पीस और को लॉ को सबको डिस्टर्ब करेंगे तो ये कहाँ का सेलिब्रेशन है तो आपका क्या कहना है हमेशा चैत्र मास का माना जाता है 
नहीं अनीता जी आपको क्या कहना है आपका क्या कहना है कि अल्कोहल बंद करनी चाहिए कि सेलिब्रेशन बंद करनी चाहिए कि रास्ते पे उतरना बंद करनी चाहिए व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द पॉइंट यू आर मेकिंग देखिए इतनी रात को जाकर के आप शहर की इसके लॉ को पीस को डिस्टर्ब करेंगे सड़कों पर उतर करके दंगा मचाएंगे शोर मचाएंगे शराब पी करके हड़दंग करेंगे तो वह चाहे मेन मैन हो या वुमेन हो दोनों के लिए ही सही नहीं है और सबको अपनी 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 ड्यूटीज का और अपने अपने राइट्स का सबको पता होना चाहिए The definition of Section 354 sexual harassment, the definition of Section 509 eve teasing, the definition of Section 292. Under any of these IPC definitions, where does it say that you can only uh, complain against sexual harassment if you are decently dressed, if you are not going out in the nights? These are my rights. No, under no section of the IPC does it. There, is there a caveat that says that you cannot report crimes of sexual abuse if you are dressed a certain way, if you are drinking whatever you are drinking? So don't come here and be a rape apologist because that's exactly what you are being right now. You are being a rape apologist. It's not just the perpetrators who assaulted women at Bangalore who should be looked at and shamed. It's people like you who have nothing better to do than indulge in victim blaming and shaming. You will not pinpoint the perpetrators. Of criminal, you will not pinpoint the sexual abusers. You will not criticize them. You only have critique and advice for women on what to wear, how to dress, how to behave. Even if I am drunk on the streets tomorrow, even if I am wearing a bikini and walking on the streets Mane tomorrow, it does not give anyone hai. the right to touch Agar me without my hai. consent. Female if only you were more obsessed over consent than moral policing and victim blaming and shaming, we would not be in the situation that we are in right now. So, ये सब कुछ face होगा. क्या होगा फेस टुमारो इफ आई वेयर व्हाटएवर आई वांट टू इफ आई एम ड्रिंकिंग वेयर एवर आई वांट टू इट्स ओके फॉर समवन टू अब्यूज मी ड्यूटीज भी होती हैं और राइट्स भी होते हैं किसी आई नो माय ड्यूटीज आई नो माय राइट्स नो ऑन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डज इट से आई कांट कंप्लेन अगेंस्ट सेक्शुअल अनीता गौतम जी अनीता गौतम जी हम हमें समझाइए अनीता गौतम जी हमें समझाइए आप किस ड्यूटी के बारे में बात कर रहे हो हमने तो स्कूल में पढ़ा हमारी फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज होती हैं हमारी फंडामेंटल राइट्स होते हैं आप आप जो बोल रहे हैं वो ड्यूटी तो कभी पढ़ाया नहीं गया हमें स्कूल में आप पढ़ा दीजिए हमें बता दीजिए कि कौन सी ड्यूटीज है औरतों की कौन सी ड्यूटीज है इस देश में सड़कों पर उतर करके दंगा मचाएंगे सेलिब्रेशन क्या सिर्फ सड़कों पर हुरदंग मचा करके भीड़ जमा करके दंगा मचा करके ही होता है क्या आप जब रोज ऑफिस जाते हैं तो सड़कों पर उतरनी नहीं चाहिए हमें ऑफिस जाने के लिए हाँ जब हम ऑफिस जाते हैं जब हम नौकरी पे जाते हैं लेकिन क्या इस तरह से इस तरह से क्या इस तरह से रोज होता है हाँ. क्या ये वेस्टर्न कल्चर को अपना करके हम लोग उनके हिसाब से वेस्टर्न कल्चर के हिसाब से न्यू ईयर सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं जबकि हम लोग का न्यू ईयर तो चैत्र मास में आता है जब पहला नवरात्रा होता है और क्या आप ये बताइए सिर्फ मेट्रो सिटीज yeah. में ही क्यों होता है स्मॉल सिटीज में क्यों नहीं होता है स्मॉल सिटीज में काफी होता है मैडम अगर आपको मालूम नहीं है तो आप आप कम्प्लीटली आउट ऑफ टच है कि आपको लग रहा है कि स्मॉल सिटीज में नहीं होता कि सड़कों पे नहीं होता कि सुबह की टाइम को नहीं होता ट्रेन में नहीं होता बस में नहीं होता स्कूल में नहीं होता हर कहीं होता है इसलिए होता है क्योंकि आप लोग ऐसे एक्सक्यूजेस बनाते हैं ऐश्वर्या बटी एब्सोल्युटली अनफोगेबल दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग ऑफ वेस्टर्न कल्चर आर यू टेलिंग मी दैट द इंडियन विलेजेस दैट आर अनटच्ड बाय वेस्टर्न कल्चर हैव नो क्राइम अगेंस्ट हमारे देश में 365 दिन में मैडम 380 तरीके के व्रत त्योहार नो नो नॉट एट ऑल द क्राइम ग्राफ हैं सब लोग अपने घर में क्राइम ग्राफ सड़कों पर उतर करके कौन करता है इस तरह से अनीता जी अब आप मेरी बात सुनिए अनीता जी अब मेरी थोड़ी सी बात सुनिए Let me tell you that the crime graph of all the offences and violence that exists against women in our country and across the world. Let's not specify only for our country because this is a problem that is pandemic across the world. And the manner in which it happens, it does. The only thing that is of concern is the gender. Nobody cares what strata the woman comes from. Nobody cares where it is. And you know, Anita Ji will find this surprising that in terms of the new amendments in the uh, you know the, in the rape laws in IPC etc. that happened after nirbhaya one section was added in in the evidence act which says that the character of the woman who is sexually assaulted will not be in question and it is an irrelevant question and it will not be put this has specifically been done to curb people who were who were you know questioning the character etc in fact supreme court in judgments has even gone to the extent of saying that even a sex worker somebody who is doing prostitution 
is entitled to say no when she doesn't want her body to be abused or used sexually. So even when she says no, she may be a sex worker otherwise. So but when she says no, her no means the same thing. And please, Anita Madam, please understand. Anita Madam, please understand. जब तक आप लोग साथ में रह रहे होते हैं सब कुछ बहुत अच्छा होता है जहाँ आपकी लड़ाई होती है आप उसे एज अ वेपन उस लॉ को यूज करते हैं और जिसके साथ आपने सालों गुजारे होते हैं या किसी के साथ कुछ अच्छा वक्त बिताया होता है चाहे सिर्फ दोस्ती रही होती है या लिव इन में रहते हैं बाद में आप उसको एज अ वेपन यूज करके उसके खिलाफ कंप्लेंट करते हैं या उसके लिए प्रॉब्लम्स क्रिएट करते हैं तो क्या ये इस लॉ का मिसयूज नहीं है अनीता गौतम जी आपको शर्मिंदा होनी चाहिए एक औरत होने के नाते कि आप ऐसे बात कर रहे हो एक नेशनल मैडम मैं शर्मिंदा हूँ वाकई शर्मिंदा हूँ कि जिनके लिए ये लॉ बना गया है ना वो आज भी अपना सामने नहीं आती हैं लेकिन मैक्सिमम फीमेल्स फीमेल्स इसे एज अ वेपन यूज मत कीजिए Why don't you go to a police Supreme station? Court, Why don't you go to a hospital? Actually, see the plight of women. And to come back to your point on women don't get sexually Why harassed. Why are you If you look at the most unsafe cities in India, it is Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh. It is Bilai in Chhattisgarh. It is Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. It is Indore in Madhya Pradesh. It is Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh. It is Kota in Rajasthan. These are not urban metropolitan cities. Your whole thing of villages, women are not getting sexually abused. I've just given you data that NCRB has released. What do you have to say now? Are any of these metropolitan Madam, urban cities? No, they are not. They are the most you know, unsafe cities in India. There is one more thing that I want to add. Okay. Can I... Wait, I, I, I want to bring up one quick thing here. I had taken out something to do. Acha, ek 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 ba. You know, I'm going to open this panel up for others, but I just want, I want. अनीता गौतम टू कंसीडर आप न्यू ईयर्स न्यू ईयर्स के बारे में बार बार बात कर रहे हो बाकी सारे फेस्टिवल्स के बारे में सोच दीजिए एक बार होली के बारे में सोच लीजिए होली के दिन को क्या होता है रास्ते पे वो एक बार सोच लीजिए आप आप दूसरे इस फेस्टिवल्स के बारे में सोच लीजिए जब रात भर जब डांडिया होती है तब क्या होती है आपका कहना है कि कुछ नहीं होता उस दिन को कुछ नहीं होता औरतों के साथ बस न्यू ईयर्स के दिन को ही होती औरतों को कहीं नहीं जानी चाहिए वो कहीं बाहर नहीं जाए वो घर पर ही बैठे तभी आपको अच्छा लगेगा ये आपका स्टैंड है। I want to bring in, I want to bring in the two men in in this conversation. Varun, Agarwal and Sandeep Singh. सब लोग अपने फैमिलीज के साथ जो लोग जाते हैं, जो न्यूक्लियर जो अरे मैडम न्यू ईयर्स के दिन बैंगलोर में वो लोग अपने फैमिली के साथ गए थे, अपने हस्बैंड बच्चों के साथ गए थे वो लोग। उनके हस्बैंड और उनके बच्चे उनके साथ ज़्यादातर वहाँ पढ़ने वाले बच्चे जो बाहर आकर के रहते हैं, जो अपने परिवार से दूर रहते हैं, वही सेलिब्रेशन के लिए बाहर जाते हैं। अदरवाइज़ फैमिली के लोग तो फैमिली के साथ नहीं रहकर के सेलिब्रेशन करते हैं। मैक्सिमम सभी सेलिब्रेशन, सभी फेस्टिव this sort of behavior saying that women should not go out and even if they go out they should only go out with their husbands what sort of a world are we living in i think this is a very misogynistic uh, pattern of thought where the perpetrators of uh, you know uh, violence <coughs> against women feel that uh, you know the 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 uh, blame should be palmed off with, 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 with you know with, with the woman is to do with the way she's dressed probably she's wearing a western outfit she was not there with her husband she was all alone and what was she doing at midnight and how was she she might be an independent woman she might be a working woman she might be at a nightclub however questions are raised at her morality questions are raised at her character who was she to leave her children and come out at midnight. I mean, here we are not even questioning the social malice that is gripping uh, the world over. It's not only about India. Here we are actually, uh, you know, uh, telling that, uh, okay, it's you, you were raped 
or you are molested but somewhere you are responsible for what happened to you and men are not to be blamed for that i'm sorry to say that this is a it just shows a person's poverty of thought okay and it's time we all evolve uh, the way we think our way of thinking then only i feel we can evolve as a civilization as rational right. thinking people Stop. so it's time that and and not only that uh, it's it's sad that women themselves who have been if these at some point of time also join the bad wa- bandwagon for such a uh, 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 poor thought so absolutely i want to bring in varun agarwal right varun agarwal varun agarwal and then sandeep singh varun agarwal i think uh, yes uh, go ahead i i really i really think our leaders are blaming absurd reasons for rape you know first it was chowmin then it was mobile phones and now they're blaming western culture uh, i remember last year there was a girl a 6 year old girl who was raped uh what sort of western culture was she embodying like right? what what sort of uh western clothes was she wearing was she wearing anything provo- provocative uh i really believe that this whole issue has to be dealt with from from the childhood we need to sensitize men towards women uh and we need to stop blaming women especially our leaders our leaders need to stop blaming western culture stop blaming stupid things like mobile phone and chowmin for rape and until our leaders do not take a stand and condemn these men these men are only going to get more bolder so it's high time we start condemning them bringing them to action and and more importantly making heroes out of people who stand up for these women what really saddens me is not that the police did not take a stand but there were so many other men who did not take a stand against these women uh, i think if you are observing a crime and a crime happen you yourself is the perpetrator of that crime because if you have so many women getting harassed right in front of you and you do not do anything about it then you're equally a partner in that crime right uh, uh, if you look at the keen and rubin case uh, that was really glorified by the media but what it also portrayed was that if you try and do anything to protect these women you'll get killed but no i think it's high time the media start portraying that if men stand up for these women they are heroes without capes and it's high time that we stop let casual harassment happen in front of us you know right. we've been to party uh, and this, this does not well. happen with the lowest lowest data you know right sandeep singh is an author and a consultant sandeep singh this sort of talk that we've just heard on this yeah. show is appalling and unforgivable in my opinion yeah i i agree with you you know uh, that uh, you can't blame if somebody is not dressed the way you want to see her you can go and molest her it's quite absurd you know and uh, i'd like to uh, read a statement from a newspaper just two lines mm. i told a policeman what had happened to us that night but he said it was not worth making a complaint because i could not name any of the attackers now this news that i'm reading is not from india you'll be surprised this has been quoted on a british daily quoting what happened in germany last year where 2000 people molested some 600 women and this is another extension of what happened what's called tarush which started in egypt where huge number of men uh, encircle women and they molest them so i think by taking it to you know looking at a dress we are missing the whole point and will not be able to solve the problem it's a very different angle anybody who says that the women were not properly dressed and hence we can go and molest are gen- need to be treated actually you know we can have issues who is wearing what but that doesn't mean one can go and molest somebody no, no, so uh, this is the whole issue of tarush I, I like to is that add concept here. and what that is what we can have issues of who is wearing what sandeep singh people. sandeep singh i want to stop you for a second you said we can have issues of who is wearing what what does that mean no i'm saying you may or may not like what uh, someone is wearing it but it doesn't mean you have a liberty to go and molest somebody you know everyone has a choice of what to wear i may not like i'm wearing a jacket someone may not like that but it doesn't mean he can come and you know fight with me or shout at me or it's his wish he or may, he decides to wear the jacket or not that is his call it doesn't gives a liberty to you know come or abuse me for that and and sadeep i want you to respond directly to anita gautam who said that women should not go out and celebrate new years they should stay in their houses they should not go out without their husbands no. only people who go uh, who go out are the ones who are living away from their parents respond respond to those uh, to those excuses being made for rape right now on this show No, no. I think that's quite funny, uh, absurd. You know, uh, I don't know where to put it. To funny, I call it, or I call it absurd. Actually, I'm confused. Oh. You know, uh, that you know, uh, if I have three sisters, it does mean that you know she has to come with me, and then my father has to go, and then my sister and mother are, can't go out. It doesn't work like that. You know, we are living in a civilized society. It, it can't work like that. 
that's why we are saying sir we are civilized society so, in civilized actually, societies aap me bheed me ja kar ke koi bhi hurdang macha kar ke nahi wo karta hai bheed me jahan aapke sath agar kuch galat ho raha hai to aap madam raat mein bheed mein hurdang nahi tha kya police mein complaint ki kitne logon ne police mein complaint ki jabki जितने भी बाहर से सिटीज से में बाहर से आए हुए जितने भी लोगों ने इशू नहीं बनाया होता तो ये चीज टीवी पर डिस्कस नहीं हो रहा होता अनीता गौतम वीडियो वायरल होने के बाद लोगों ने इशू बनाया है लोगों ने कंप्लेन किया है इसलिए ये बात डिबेट हो रही है इस बात पे अनीता गौतम जी सही तरीके से देखना चाहिए कि वहाँ सरकार के मंत्री हैं उन्होंने मैसेज दिया है कि लड़कियों को गलत कपड़े पहनने से इसका मतलब कि पुलिस उस पर केस नहीं करेगी लोग कितना वहाँ की गवर्नमेंट का ऑर्डर है बड़े साफ सुथरे तरीके से देखें तो वहाँ की सरकार पुलिस को कह रही है कि आप केस रजिस्टर नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि औरतों की फॉल्ट थी स्टेटमेंट उनके मंत्रियों का कांग्रेस के आ रहा है उसका उसका मतलब यही है वहां की पुलिस के लिए साइडा Yeah, see, it's not about the dress code. You know, I, I have stood in broad daylight in in a shalwar kameez, carrying a file, go, commuting to work, where I have been ifties. So I know the reality is nothing about your clothes. You you could be wearing the shortest of dress. You could be fully clad uh, in the most modest of dress. It's to do with the mindset. It's got whoever is saying it's to do with the clothes. I'm sorry to say, it's completely appalling. Uh, you know, to palm the blame on women. It's nothing to do with clothes. is nothing to do with, with with the woman outside we i think our memory can recollect what happened to damini in new delhi and there were certain uh, fingers that were pointing at her also there were there were people who went around uh, saying what was she doing in the middle of the night uh, out with a boyfriend and it happened similarly in the suzette jordan park street rape case in calcutta and so many other similar rape uh, cases where where they start co questioning the woman's character they start questioning uh, you know uh, her her uh, religion or her um, you know they they, they start uh, uh, you know dragging her past into the picture and start questioning about her vocation it's sad it's unfortunate and i feel there has to be some kind uh, of a reasoning when we talk we have to analyze Analyze the problem, and we have to nip it in the bud because it is a social malice. It's got nothing to do with a woman's dress, or if a, or if a woman is out at at a particular time. I'm sorry to say. In, in fact, let me just point out and, and and bring to your notice what we're running on our screen right now. These are comments that have been made by various politicians in recent times. K J George, former Home Minister of Karnataka. How can you call it gang rape? If it's only two people, it's not gang rape. In order for it to be gang rape, there have to be at least four or five people involved. Muktar Abbas Nakvi of the BJP: Women wearing lipstick and powder are the same as Jammu and Kashmir terrorists. Mamta Banerjee, Chief Minister of, of Bengal: Rape cases are on the rise in the country because men and women are interacting with each other freely. Tapas Paul of the Trinamool Congress: If we, if anyone from the opposition or their wives or their sisters are here, listen up. I will send my boys to rape people. Abu Azmi of the Samajwadi Party if a woman is caught then both she and the boy should be punished there should be a death penalty against women who have consensual sex Mulayam Singh Yadav of the Samajwadi Party first the girls develop friendships then they go out and say rape boys commit mistakes will we hang them for such mistakes this is what the leaders of our country are saying Why is it that we don't have more stricter action taken against people who make these statements? Why aren't these leaders taken out of the seats that they occupy and made to pay for what they say? Shouldn't action be taken to begin with at least against the Home Minister of Karnataka who has made such a shameful statement after a personal failure of his state? He is the Home Minister. He's in charge of law and order. It is his job and hence his failure. that what happened on the 31st happened shouldn't action be taken against him shouldn't these people be sacked trisha shetty shouldn't be be demanding his resignation or his removal from the post of home minister most definitely just today i saw a congress mp defending what the home minister said and call it a conspiracy by hindus and it's a hindutva conspiracy to make the party look bad no i mean none of us are trying to make the party look bad i don't care about your political party i care that the home minister is trying to defend what happened in bangalore and call it something to and uh, say that it is something to do with western culture the women the clothes that they were wearing and that they invited molestation if people are not up 
upset, horrified and outright re rejecting the horrible statements made by the Home Minister, then there is something wrong with all of you people who are standing by the Home Minister's remarks. Most definitely he has no business having a portfolio that demands that he look after the safety and security of women when all he cares about is in indulging in victim blaming and shaming. He must resign. The party must dissociate themselves from such people who perpetuate rape culture in India. In fact, that particular comment that was made defending what the Home Minister said is something that's even more offensive to women because it says that women can be used as pawns in this political game. One side is trying to is, is, is trying to show the other side down, so molest women to do it. Is that what you're trying to say? This sort of politicizing of of crime against women is just not acceptable. I want to bring in Aishwarya here. Aishwarya, the, the defense that the Home Minister has received from the rest of the, the government in Karnataka is absolutely appalling. He should have been removed. He should have been removed this morning. I totally agree. You know, the, the problem with these, the leaders, the political parties, and you played quite a few of the, the statements that were made. You know, I, I, they are appalling to say the least. And if leaders are going to make these kind of statements, they are supposed to be leaders. They are supposed to lead the society, lead the nation, lead the citizens of this country. They are supposed to be role models. If the, you know, if the common citizen is going to see that their role models, their so-called leaders are behaving in a manner so as to completely diminish, you know, the, the dignity of a woman, then uh, it is all right. I mean, why, why should we expect anything from the cops if the leaders of our country are going to sing like this? And, you know, I took out one thing to share with you today. There is a UN declaration, the United Nations Declaration on Elimination of Violence Against Women. It's, it's a one-line declaration. And the reason why I call these, uh, you know, all offenses against women as hate crimes is this statement. Just hear this declaration. Violence against women is a manifestation of historically unequal power relations between men and women, and that violence against women is one of the crucial social mechanisms by which women are forced into a subordinate position compared with men. Now you understand where the problem is. You know, Varun was very rightly saying, the problem is not with women. Problem is not, issue is not with what they are wearing, how we are conducting ourselves. All of us are women. We have gone out. I mean, Indra Jai Singh, such a celebrated senior lawyer of my court, Supreme Court of India, you know, she walks uh, shoulder to shoulder with the biggest litigating names. Even she has said in one of her interviews that she was sexually assaulted in the corridors of the Supreme Court. I mean, what are we talking about? It's not about late night parties. It's Absolutely. not about New Year's Absolutely. celebration. You know, it's not about these girls trying to go out and have a good time. It is absolutely Raman Malik joins us right now. Raman the Malik joins us. And the real problem. Right. You know, Raman Malik joins us right now. And Sandeep Singh, I want, I want to ask the two of you this question. In 2009, in Mangalore, the Sri Ram Sena attacked women who had gone out to get a drink with their friends. The same group in 2012, a Hindu right-wing group, attacked women in a resort who were having a party with their friends. Do you, do you disassociate yourself from these extreme right-wing groups who police women and who bring about moral policing and tell women that they can't go out and they can't uh, go to a resort and that they can't have a good time? I'll take the f question first to Sandeep Singh. Do you disassociate yourself? Hey. Do you condemn this sort of behavior, what Sandeep Singh? Oh, yes, yes, very much. Is the question to me or Sandeep? Uh, I, I do dissociate myself, but at the same time, I like to put a plug is that we need to create in the, the, the question that we need to ask is the same liberal who are asking so many questions to Sriram Sen. I don't see them speaking today. The film stars, the so-called liberals, you know, the same politician who are hounding Sriram Sena are now supporting this and blaming the women. So mm. I think those are the people who need to be asked these questions, you know, to put them in the corner, not Sandeep Singh. All right, let's ask Raman Malik the same question. Raman Malik, extreme right-wing groups who tell women what they should wear, where they should go. Do you condemn that sort of behavior? Do you condemn the comments that are being made right now in the media Wait, about the uh, Bangalore I event? Would, I would love to answer you. Hmm. I would love to answer you, but the only uh, request would be that let my statement be completed. Okay, go ahead, Raman Malik. Now, uh, now, somebody like a Shriram Sena or somebody else like uh, an Abu Azmi or somebody saying that uh, ladkon se galti ho jati hai, 
ان کو لیور مت کرو دس از آل اٹ اے اسٹوپڈٹی وی مسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ دس پرابلم دیٹ وی آر ڈسکسنگ ٹو ڈے اٹز ناٹ جسٹ اباؤٹ ریپ اور مولیسٹیشن دس از اے پرابلم وچ وی آر سپوز ٹو فیس بیکاز آف سو مینی ایئرز آف انسینسیوٹی ٹوڈ سو مینی ایئرز آف کلچرل ڈیمورلائز کلچرل ڈیمنشنگ بیٹنگ وٹ ایور یو مے نیم اٹ بٹ فے دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ پوائنٹ از ویئر از دی ویلو سسٹم ٹو ڈے دیٹ از دا بگیسٹ پرابلم انڈیا از فیسنگ دی ویلو سسٹم وائی کانٹ یو ریسپیکٹ این ادر پرسن دیٹ از ون پوائنٹ بٹ ناؤ وین وی کرٹیسائز پیپل لائک شری رام سینا اور اور دیز پیپل آئی ووڈ لو ٹو برنگ ٹو یور نوٹس اے ویری رناؤنڈ جرنلسٹ اے جرنلسٹ ہو جرنلی رائٹس ان لیڈنگ نیوز پیپر ٹویٹس on the uh, uh, you know when prime minister modi gives uh, this uh, thing that 6000 rupees would be given to the pregnant women or, or delivering women she says that it is rejuvenation now if a woman journalist who is so educated and has all freedom of expression in every possible way has all securities and everything can call an act of giving birth as a rejuvenation and compare it to that you tell me is it the fault of a particular gender or is it the insensitivity in the society at large but raman walik raman walik i'm not sure about what quote you're you're talking about right now as far as rejuvenation is concerned but let me read this out to you muktas uh, muktar I am, abbas I, you can see of the bjp you can see sagarika goshe tweet of the bjp saying women wearing lipstick and powder are the same as terrorists i i would request you to please see sagarika ghosh's tweet she's she's comparing birth right you know giving birth about you know uh, act of giving birth by a couple as to rejuvenation but right now we're talking about recreation. sexual harassment and molestation of women why are you trying to obfuscate from this issue and direct our attention to some so, other so irrelevant this is this is about episode. the mental This is about psychological and mental frame. You are equating what a journalist says to women being sexually assaulted. This itself I goes to show that you have no idea what you're talking about. I, I fear Why don't you rather questions. focus on the deplorable remarks made situations. by the ministers and comment on that? Where is your sense of outrage over ministers making such deplorable remarks and justifying crimes against women? Why aren't you outraged over that? Why aren't you rejecting what these ministers have said and None saying it is not okay? Why aren't a, a you shaming man, them? Why do you have enough time to a talk man, about other irrelevant things? Forget about right now. Let's let's somewhere. only talk about a man. What? My fo- my fight let's, is not against any gender. My fight men. is against sexism. Let's not talk about what women say. I am not trying to talk about any gender. I am. I am sexism. just about to say Even something. Anita Gautam, who made those sexist remarks, I called her out for it. I so man let me woman, let I me tell you. We're talking about it, sexism here, about sexual harassment. It is a very I old proverb. I can bring proverb. up pregnant women somewhere. Your conduct about. Why don't you come back to the topic at hand and discuss See, what the ministers have said and reject something. that? Any any person, any can you please listen? Any person See, I think, you know, who by, by making such totally kind of statements, ministers are to trying to deviate the whole issue. You know, it's right about to organized behave. crime. It was not individual molestation. We must understand. Well, and is this sort this sort of statement? It was an organized is, crime. There were hundreds so, sir, of is men it, is it who molested crime? hundreds of women. You know, it was an organized crime. It needs to be looked like that. It was not an individual molestation. It needs to be looked very differently. So, whose patronage be, was it? You know, investigated very differently. W- could they have done it without patronage? What are you and, saying, Raman Malik? Come out and say what you're saying, Raman Malik. It is totally deplorable what the Home Minister of Karnataka has said. Hand in But love with will they, would they have had patronage or not? So what are you saying, Raman Malik? What are you saying? Yeah. All that I'm saying is there are a couple of... This, this is a very complex issue which must be addressed. It, where a Home Minister should be condemned... uh for his words were a leader from a political party who has substantial presence who abu azmi who stated whatever he had to which is about, from my end it is a total rot that should be totally condemned but we must all get together to understand that this is a sickness in the society which must be taken head on and this this whole frame 
of mind that is there that says that A is not equal to B or two wrongs can make a right okay. is where the can problem I, lies. I, 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 don't, I don't understand anything you're saying, Raman Malik. You're not answering any There's of our questions. What are you talking about? Can I, can what is I, can the solution? I come in here, please? Raman Malik, you're just, you're just deviating from the topic. What are you talking about? What is A is equal to B? Why aren't you answering the questions at hand? The fact that politicians over the last few years from every political party have said despicable, deplorable things about women and have all, every single last one of them, including from your own party, have gotten away with it. That is the question we are asking today. What are you talking about? Why are you deviating from that topic? There have been men who have stated wrong and there are females also who have stated wrong. I will said you, politicians, will, will Raman Malik, I didn't started, say men you know, or women. You, will you start comparing who said what? To start, everything is, is documented. Okay, I, I will tell you who said See, there are, there are instances where females have also stated wrong things. Saira, go ahead. I don't understand. So even if females have stated wrong about, things, sorry, according you to know, you, I'm uh, quoting uh, what you're saying. I'd like to ask Mr. Raman Desh. I'd like to ask Mr. Raman Desh. I'd like to ask Mr. Raman Desh, don't you think that the that the government should not take cognizance of what happened on 31st December in Bangalore? Do you feel that they should, there's no ownership on behalf of the establishment? Do you think that we should be oblivious to what is happening? Do you think we should ignore it? Or should we publish Publicly, unanimously condemn uh, what happened, so that you know everyone agrees that charity begins at home. Okay, so uh, the sensitization bit depends on the parents, how we educate a son, how we educate a daughter. But let's deal with the situation at hand and let's not uh, go off the track. A at the moment, what we just need is a public apology on behalf of the Home Minister. We need some kind of ownership from the government. I think that is an acceptable doable. Uh, uh, what do you say to that, Mr. Raman? What, I, I want to ask the other panelists as well. Ex can you, can you, would you, would you let me answer? We've, go ahead, Raman Malik, I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a minute to, to answer. Me, go ahead, answer. Raman Malik, after which that, I have someone on the that phone. That none, none less than, none less than the Home Minister, none less than the Home Minister and the Minister of State for Home, both have condemned this and have, have said that the statements made by the politicians in terms to the uh, Karnataka Home Minister are deplorable. I don't think that there would be any more uh, bigger condemnation that could go to a home minister when the union home ministers and the state, union uh, minister of state for home both condemn a person. Now, having said that, I am again saying any such act where a woman is molested or for that matter a child is molested or anybody it is deplorable and that is infringement of one's own freedom. All right, I want to bring in a phone call right now. Shrikant is on the phone line from Mumbai. Shrikant, go ahead. I want yeah, to add hello. something. Yeah, yeah I, I'll I, come I, back to you. I'll come back to you, uh, no, Aishwarya. Shrikant, go ahead. Yeah, my name is Shrikant and I'm from Bombay. Yes. I'm quite used to this uh, clubbing culture and the party culture. Mm -hmm. And now coming to this incident on, of Bangalore where it is very shameful and the visuals are really deplorable. You see the way the youth is behaving, falling on the streets drunk. I am slightly diverting away from your main topic, but I have a question for the panel, which is this. Do you think that after these incidents, the government should regulate such kind of revelry in public? For example, I don't know what kind of a regulation. Maybe say that not on public streets, but in, only in parks, uh, in parties, in clubs, inside, something like that. Is it a regressive thought that I'm having, or is it something that the government should look at? Because the Indian market seems to be not mature for such kind of open revelry. Well, Shrikant, unfortunately, it's not just revelry on the streets no, where these things happen. I'll give Aishwarya and uh, Trisha an opportunity to answer that. Aishwarya? Yeah, I just want to answer to Shrikant that uh, maybe some kind of regulation, but regulation not or that who can go and who cannot go. If you can't handle a particular, more than a particular number of people, then please don't allow more number of than that to, to come there. And you should have enough force, enough, uh, you know, provisions made for an incident like this. The state machinery themselves were saying, your minister of Karnataka said that these kinds of incidents happen every year. And they said every year it is hushed up. It's only this year that media is making an issue out of it. And why should it not be made an issue? I have a huge disconnect with the manner in which these loose, callous and ap uh, apathetic uh, you know, statements are made. 
I feel that, you know, IPC, there is a provision of abetment. And somebody who abets an offense is somebody who incites or, you know, exhorts or uh, motivates or inspires somebody to do an offense. And a better abetment of an offense is as much an, as an offense as somebody who's executing the offense. I think time has come that, you know, all this lip service, all this public apology, and we should stop asking for this. I think in law, these people, these so-called leaders who are supposed to be leading our nations and our citizens, they should be booked for abetment of these offenses because these offenses are not right. about women. Right. These offenses are I want to bring in Anita Gautam and, 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 and then Trisha Shetty as well. Women. Anita Gautam, Anita Gautam, do you want to ban these parties? Look, in our culture, everything is not. So, that's why we are either our culture or we are doing it in a whole way. So, what are you doing in your culture? Anita Gautam Ji, tell me what is allowed in your culture? In our culture, ma'am, see, Ishwar has made a difference in our culture, so that difference should be made. That's why Ishwar has made a difference in our culture, so that's why we have to make a difference in our culture. That's why we have to make a difference in our culture. I would like to come in here now. We are equal to our own power, where we are teaching our children, 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 where we are teaching our children. So, Anita Gautam Ji, that women are not equal, and 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 that women are not equal. तो आप कह रहे हैं कि इक्वल होने की चक्कर में हमारे साथ ये सब हो रहा है तो आपका कहना है कि हम लोग इक्वल नहीं हैं और हमें घर में रहनी चाहिए हम लोग डाउन ना होकर के हम उसी पावर में रहें और जो हम लोगों ने बच्चों को या संसार इसको समाज को जो गाइड करना है जिस ढंग से इनकी सोच को बदलना है हम उस पर रहें और इस समाज की मेन रीढ़ की हड्डी हैं हम सभी फीमेल्स हम लोगों को उसी को मेंटेन रख करके करना है हम इक्वल होने के चक्कर में जितना डाउन जाएंगे ये समाज उतना ही तेजी से बिखरेगा आप आप मुझे समझाइए फर्स्ट बिफोर आई ब्रिंग इन द रेस्ट ऑफ द पैनल टू रिस्पॉन्स यू आर शो दे ऑल डू डाउन होने की चक्कर क्या होती है हम जितना डाउन हो जाते हैं आपने बोला इ मुझे भी मेल्स के जितने ही वो सब फ्रीडम चाहिए मैं भी जो हम ड्रिंक करूं या बाकी की चीजों में इक्वल होने का जो हम लोग कोशिश कर रहे हैं उसमें ना रह करके हमको गॉड ने जितना डिफरेंट बनाया है हमारी बॉडी बहुत सी चीजों को नहीं चेल पाती है जैसे कि ड्रिंक्स को और उन सब के लिए हम लोग उन सब से दूर रहें और हम लोग की जो जितना भी एक मेंटेन है कि हम लोग जितना भी सॉफ्ट ज़्यादा एनर्जी होने के कारण हम लोगों को अपने समाज को ज़्यादा अच्छे से सुदृढ़ बनाना है अपने परिवार को ज़्यादा मजबूत बनाना है जिससे कि समाज देश और सब अनीता गौतम जी आप प्लीज आप प्लीज बात करना बंद कीजिए अनीता गौतम जी आप प्लीज प्लीज स्टॉप टॉकिंग आपने इस बात का जिक्र किया कि पुरुष और औरतें अलग होती हैं और हमें अपने दायरे में रहना चाहते रहना चाहिए तो आपका क्या मतलब है आप क्या इक्विटी में विश्वास नहीं करती आप क्या इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटीज में मैं नहीं विश्वास करती कि औरतों और मर्दों का क्या सेम अपॉर्चुनिटी होते हैं स और सिर्फ सिर्फ मर्दों का ही इस समाज को मेल बनाने की जिम्मेदारी फीमेल की है अगर हम उसी चीज पर बच्चों की सोच को नैतिक जिम्मेदारियों को नैतिक उनकी सोच को आचरण को अच्छा बनाएंगे तो वही अच्छा है मैडम हम ज़्यादा पावरफुल हैं मेन से इक्वल क्यों आ रहे हैं हमने समाज के जैसे बैल जो है जैसे बैल जो है वो सिर्फ खेती जगह काम आता है और गाय जो है घर में रहती है अनीता और अनीता गौतम जी हमने समाज के लिए भी बात की है और हार्ड वर्किंग के लिए सीमेल अनीता गौतम जी प्लीज स्टॉप अनीता गौतम जी प्लीज स्टॉप वी बी नॉट कैटी थैंक यू वेरी मच औरतें � हमारे सभी जगह हम सबकी ड्यूटीज बढ़ी हुई हैं ये जो ड्यूटी आप बता रहे हैं हमें अनीता गौतम जी ये जो आप हमें स्कूलिंग कर रहे हैं कि ड्यूटी के बारे में ये ड्यूटी की लिस्ट आपने लिखी किसने लिखी
ये कल्चर आपने लिखी ये किसने बनाया प्राचीन काल है ये ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी है हमारा शास्त्रों में लिखा हुआ वेदों का हमारा परंपरागत चला आ रहा है सुना सुना लीजिए कि हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कहा लिखा है यही होगा मैडम अरिता तो गौतम जी सुना दीजिए हमें हमें कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कहा लिखा है हम अपनी जड़ों को ना छोड़े वही अच्छा होगा अनिता गौतम अनिता गौतम हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कहा लिखा है अनिता गौतम कर रहे हैं अतिता गौतम हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कहा लिखा है बता दीजिए ये कल्चर की जो पाठ पढ़ा रहे हैं आप मुझे कहा लिखी है बताइए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कहा है हमारी मैडम मैं तो अपना वैदिक और इन सब का बतला रही हूँ ना मैं अपने ये तो सबकी तो पूरी देश तो हमारी सेक्युलर है अनीता गौतम जी मैक्सिमम लोग ये तो आपकी कल्चर होगी तो आप हमें क्यों सिखा रहे हो हिंदू लोगों के त्योहारों में कहा ऐसा होता है कि आप बाहर जाए शराब पिए दंगा मचाए या समाज को डिस्टर्ब करे कौन से त्योहार रात में मनाए जाते हैं मैडम जी अनिता जी अभी दुनिया कहाँ से कहाँ चली गई है आप फिर अनिता जी कौन सी सदी की बात कर रहे हैं तो मैडम अगर आप वेस्टर्न कल्चर को अपना रहे हैं तो वहाँ के अच्छा, भी एग्जाम्पल्स आपके सामने हैं वहाँ भी अगर बाहर जाकर के लोग इसी तरीके का कल्चर अपना वो करते हैं तो वहाँ पर भी ये सब प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं अच्छा अनीता जी मुझे एक सवाल एक डाउट है अनीता जी अनीता जी मुझे मेरे पास एक डाउट है आप प्लीज डाउट क्लियर कीजिए ये खजराव और अजंता अलोरा में जो टेम्पल्स बने ये किसने बनाए किस कल्चर के हैं ये प्लीज समझाइए मुझे और कब किस सदियों में बनाए थे समझाइए मुझे नो नो दैट्स क्वाइट एन एब्सर्ड लॉजिक टू बिल्ड यू नो टू ब्रिंग व्हाट इज देयर इन द टेंपल यू नो दैट्स क्वाइट एन एब्सर्ड लॉजिक टू ब्रिंग टेंपल इनटू दिस आर्गुमेंट उसी के टेंपल्स हैं क्या आपको बनारस के मथुरा के और बाकी के जगह के टेंपल्स नहीं नजर आते हैं हमारे यहां क्या केवल एक वास्तव में ऋषि हुए जिनका आपने खजुराहो का तो एग्जांपल दे दिया लेकिन बाकी जितने भी हमारे शास्त्र हैं जितने में हमारे ऋषि मनीषी हैं जितने भी हमारे बाकी के और जो कल्चरल चीजें हैं जो वैदिक परंपराएं हैं उन सब पर आपका ध्यान नहीं जाता एकमात्र खजुराहो को लेकर के आप बैठ जाते हैं वो तो उसका भी सुनिए मैडम कि वो भी समाज में किस ढंग से पति पत्नी का संबंध होना चाहिए कैसे एक आइडियल फैमिली या किस ढंग से वो होना चाहिए वो उसका को भी रिप्रेजेंट करता है लेकिन समाज में अनिता जी किस हिसाब से इंसान को रहना चाहिए उसके लिए क्या आप अनिता जी प्रॉब्लम है परंपरागत मंदिर नहीं दिखते हैं अनीता जी प्लीज लिसन टू मी जो मनारस में मंदिर आपको दिखता है मैडम यू प्लीज Sandeep ji just give me a minute i just want to tell anita ji that she is missing the bushes for the forest she is entitled to have her views in whatever manner she is there but please understand that the issue that we are discussing today is not about moral policing or about any of this but the main issue here is that whatever manner the women are is that an excuse for men to grope them men to molest them to be, to do illegal activities and sexually assault them that is the question that we are asking today we are living in a world where women are are flying fighter planes they are walking shoulder to shoulder in all walks of life today is a world where the woman of today has broken all male bastions not a single male bastion remains and when you expect the women of today to get out and do everything that they can do to the best of their ability you can't be tying them to shackles which are centuries old and if you are going to go with the shackles then you should also go and justify sati pratha there were lots of problems and lots of issues with our culture i am not saying for a minute that we should disregard our I'm culture sorry. in any way but please don't confuse this debate this debate today is not about following our culture the debate today is the apathy with which the politicians of our country with with the home minister of karnataka and other politicians who are supposed to be leaders the manner in which they have treated this it is adding insult to injury and where they have completely miserable western culture ko adopt karenge to wo just like a fire agar wahan ke acche cheezon ko adopt kar rahe hain to uska garb of these kind of uska hidden area uska black excuses black side bhi aapko face karna padega madam these are lame excuses and there is these are lame excuses madam please understand these are lame excuses and there is no scope in today's world for these kind of lame excuses the bluff has been called we are not fools we understand and this is not acceptable to us we we should file cases against these politicians and leaders absolutely. and the of absolutely these that absolutely. is what is required in to fact, be done in fact let me make it very clear there is a very clear rule book on how we should behave in society in this country that rule book is called the constitution of india and in the constitution of india molesting groping assaulting teasing and raping a woman is an offence 
for it is a criminal offense there are no excuses in the constitution of india for this behavior it doesn't say that if she was drinking or if she was wearing something or if she was out on the street in a party that it's okay the constitution of india is very very clear about these rules there are no excuses and that is the book with by which we live in this country that is the book by which society functions in this country and that book applies to us all women and men alike there is no difference in each of us we are all valid citizens of this country uh, varun agarwal and then raman malik varun agarwal well i think this debate is going completely somewhere else i think i think more than more than anything else we need to figure out exactly who these criminals were bring them to justice make an example of them the, the my only problem is you know condemning the minister is one thing but this will never stop there'll be always another minister will come up with another statement it's never going to stop i think what the need of the r is to figure out who these people were who who did who who made this incident happen in bangalore bring them to justice and also shame all those people who are around these people who didn't do anything about it and and make a big deal about it and so that something like this can never happen again i really think condemning the minister yes all of us condemn the minister's statements and all of us do not agree with what he said but i think the need of the r is to bring these criminals to justice and make an example of them right because that's going to prevent future uh, incidents like these from going to happen and more importantly i really believe that you know you need to shame the men who didn't do anything about it we keep talking about the ministers we keep talking about the police out of 60000 men there were probably 1000 men who were who were you know trying to grope women the other men didn't do anything about it they were just witnesses to this horrific incident and i think the need of the r is to bring out all of that rather than focusing this issue on the minister or on culture or anything else raman malik we we my point has been there from the starting of this debate when i joined in i do not accept that uh, any person has the right to go and interfere into any other person's scope of work or the uh, whatever deed the other person is doing irrespective of the state the other person is in but uh, subject to that the uh, everybody is adhering with the law book now i i raised this issue today that there were certain things claimed on that particular day by the government of the state that there were certain arrangements done with those arrangements i believe that there should be enough proof and evidences to collect and the state government should expedite and get all information required identify people and start finding out the perpetrators of this crime nobody gives you the right irrespective of gender to go and interfere into another group of people what they are doing you please go ahead and have your time but do not interfere in what the other person if you finding something offensive offending you or your morality or whatever you are most welcome to go and find a police person and say that this this particular act of this person is offending me but you as an individual can only <laughs> request not force yourself to do anything and if you think that this right is there for you to go and molest or group or something to another woman that only shows your character and i again okay. come back to the main issue that this issue has to be addressed not by genderism but by the fact that this is a problem within the society and where there must be steps which should be taken by the society because there's nobody which comes away in terms to there's no politician or police wala which is born differently than the society they we are part and parcel of the society we all need to get together and solve this menace we all need to get together and solve this menace and as women of this country we need to band together and be very very clear about where we stand when it comes to our rights it's not about what we are wearing and we say this every night we say it night after night it's not about what we are wearing and where we are going there are rapes happening in homes there are rapes happening of little children who are toddlers 3 4 5 years old what were they wearing where were they going how is it their fault if we are expected as one half of this country to go out every day and work alongside the men we deserve to be treated as equal citizens and the truth is right now women in this country are not being treated as equal citizens 
by members of the police force, by members of the government, and sometimes, as illustrated on this channel, by other women. Enough is enough. Thanks for watching. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.